Oh, here we are, it's Tuesday, and um, the jeans quilts is finished, I'm waiting for pickup, and I'm getting ready to, <coughs> I'll be making a jacket, and these are the fabrics, these are um, all laurel birch fabrics. with her flying cats or angel cats whatever and a few companion filler fabrics um, but these these will be these will be worked in somehow and I thought I would share the process. So uh, the form that I use is a sweatshirt. And I removed the cuff. That can be used as a headband for a small head. Um, and removing bottom ribbing I, I do that in one piece because and then this one will be removed also it's just like a slit and go inside. And then the outside of the sweatshirt, which is the smooth side, will become the inside of the finished product. So, next thing to do. The lady I'm making this for is coming over today, so I'm going to abbreviate this and leave it partially together until I get her fitted. Do it this way. And then I can finish the disassembly. So, So when she arrives, um, I'll just kind of lay this over. She'll just crawl in like this and lay this over so I can get the sleeve length and the proper fitting done. And then I'll finish taking it apart and then there will be four, four pieces. So each arm will be done individually. And then the back and the front will be done. And in fact, one second. This is this is the first one that I ever made, actually, and I've, I've been wearing this for about four or five years. Um, but this was a sweatshirt. 
and one afternoon and and I had used this this there, there are three fabrics that make up this ribbon and I had already made kaleidoscope medallions I'd made seven different ones out of this one fabric and one afternoon I was looking at this fabric and a lot of fabric has large design and so you have to view it in a large piece to appreciate it and I just thought okay I'll make a jacket so this is the companion fabric here and so I just did some diamond quilting on this and I bought these two fabrics as accents and companions and then I cut three medallions in half and what do you know they matched that this, this this was not intentional this was purely by accident so each arm gets quilted individually and then the front gets done and in this case um, as I said it was it was not intentional that these things match up but after the front is done and all of the quilting is done then it's cut up the center but it's not cut until you have your your patterns and quilting and so forth uh, uh, finished so that, that when you're wearing it everything will line up and then uh, just a little bit of um, detail here, a little separation. And when I was putting it together, I, I, I said the front to the back and I wasn't happy with it because of the way it looked when the fabric came together, so I took it apart. And I put a strip of this, the, uh, the blue, in here. And then I put a strip of this where the arms are attached and then use both of them to do the, <coughs> the uh, binding and to finish off the cuff. So this is this is the first one I made and made a bunch of sense. So that's what I'll be doing with this. And until they arrive, I'm going to start sewing it. Here's the design. This is the fabric. And <clears throat> the material it's being sewn on has, um, has built in shrinkage so when it's steamed This shrinks, this doesn't, so it pulls everything together and creates a, a, a beautiful surface, very tactile. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a pillow, and this is the design. It's a square one inch grid, and then a 45 degree three quarter inch grid. This will be the perimeter, and I'll sew that first. This, I happened to cut the fabric a little bit too big, and instead of wasting it, I just increased the size of that. So this will be used for something else, I don't know what, but I'll just treat it as I'm doing the rest of these. Um, so I'm going to start sewing on this, and I had the... Here. Thought I had two 
anyway. Um, I'm using this King Tut thread. It's a terracotta that I'll be using. It's variegated so that the colors will, will blend. And as soon as I get that set up and I'm ready to sew, then um, I'll let you all see what comes next. Thanks for listening.